Hello guys, this is Brian Swamp, Barebones Entertainment, here with Lou Dealey. How have you been? I'm good, man. How are you doing? Pretty good. Staying busy. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I hear you. Me too, man. So how has the, your kind of solo work, how's that been? It's been, it's been fun. It's been like a whole new kind of like adventure, on, on, honestly, from, you know, doing like different kinds of rock bands, now doing, just breaking it all down and just doing something that's just me and then um, you know where I make all the decisions and call the shots and stuff but it's it's been really good so far I really enjoy it and we've definitely been with you for a while now through your different projects and it's great to kind of hear your work that you're doing now I mean it seems like it's got to be really great for you to be able to kind of have that freedom oh yeah yeah it's awesome I've never done anything that was that's just mine you know mm -hmm. what I mean so I mean I've, I've loved playing and collaborating with all the all the different projects I've been in mm -hmm. uh, but yeah it's definitely a really really rewarding uh, kind of project mm -hmm. to, to take on and what did you kind of want to bring to like this music of your own when you kind of started this out well when I started out I was just kind of I wasn't really planning on kind of like making it into like a project that I was mm -hmm. going to pursue it kind of just turned into that I recorded an EP just for fun mm -hmm. and then uh, showed it to some of my friends and uh, they kind of just got behind it and kind of helped me turn it into something a little bit more legitimate than just, you know, oh, here's a, some five songs that I've made up and whatever, put it on the internet. So, yeah, so I don't know. It's been, it's been a pretty crazy, pretty crazy ride so yeah. far, for sure. And had you done much of kind of acoustic work before this or? Um, Never, I never like would play out by myself ever. Like, you know, it was the first time, the first solo show I had was like in April of last year. So we're coming up on a year now, but that was like the first time ever I've ever done it by myself. And then, so I've, it's been kind of like, everything's just been like a whole new process, so. I know in the past, I mean, obviously you have other guys with you that are coming up on stage with you when you go out there. What is it like knowing that you're going out there and walking on that stage by yourself. A little bit more well, yeah, at first for sure when it was really nerve wracking because it's sort of like so being in a band. It's 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 like yeah, you have something kind of to like fall back on, and plus it's loud and you know it's a lot of energy and stuff. But like when you're playing acoustic by yourself, it's like if you if I catch myself think about it, it's already too late. You know what I mean? <laughs> so like you go, it's you know it's just me and there's nothing to hide behind. I just have a guitar, and if I screw up the guitar, you can hear that. If I screw up the vocals, you can hear that. So I try not to think about. It. I mean, I've gotten better at not thinking about it so much, and I've kind of just have this mentality that I'm just gonna go out and have fun, mm -hmm. and you know what I mean, and and try to be as confident as I can be. So yeah. I've always been a big fan of acoustic music. I love the kind of intimacy of it, sure. where it's kind of just you and that artist. Yeah. Uh, are you valuing the that kind of feeling with this, with you and kind of your fan bases coming along with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, It's been cool, like especially yesterday, I'm playing on the acoustic stage, which is kind of, you know, a little bit out of the way and kind of hard to find. But uh, it, it's, it is really rewarding to when people, like well, I had a handful of kids come, they, they knew a lot of the, of the songs. And right after I was done, since I played on like a small stage, um, you know, we could just hang out and talk about it. And yeah, yeah it's cool. And you know, you can hear the people singing. And, like, honestly, the, the thing about acoustic shows, and it's a good thing and a bad thing, is like, since it's so quiet, if people are talking, you can hear it. Yeah. But it's also really cool because if people are singing, you can also hear it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah, it's definitely very intimate, and I do, I really enjoy it so far. Is it a bit different playing, like, these type of shows at, like, a festival where, I mean, a majority of the bands are going to be a little harder, and then, like, you have the acoustic stage like, kind of off to the side? Um, do you kind of see a good number of kids come out to that stage, too, still? Um, it was, I, you know, I, I didn't really know what to expect, honestly, mm -hmm. this this time around, but a lot of, a lot of people that came and saw me were friends of mine from other bands, um, which is cool because I've never played anywhere down here, so I wasn't I wasn't expecting anybody to know me. So, um, so I played to mostly friends, and then like there was like a small group of people that did know, you know. So like the turnout was better than I expected because I was expecting to play to nobody. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I was I was pleased for sure. And we, what's next for you after this? I'm gonna go 
back to Columbus, 15 hours from here, and uh, excited. yeah, I have like two weeks, and then I will be going to the studio to make a full-length record, and uh, hoping for like a summer release, I guess. But I'm really excited to do that and get back in the studio and get some new stuff out. And you already have your song selected that you want for it. Or are you still playing with it? I have a pretty good idea what I'm going to do with it. I have a lot of songs written, but I uh, still have to, I guess, kind of develop them into yeah. like the actual version. So with the new record you're talking about, um, how is that being released? Are you releasing independently or? Uh, so I did, I did the my last EP with Third String Records, mm -hmm. and um, that was I kind of fulfilled that contract mm -hmm. with that, and then um, I could potentially do a record through them. But uh, I'm just kind of using the freedom to do it by myself right now and just make the record. And we're going to, you know, kind of find its home after it's done. You know what I mean? So, you know, it could, I, could, I could independently release it. I could be on the label, you know. I'm not too sure right now. I mean, it's got to be nice to have that freedom, though, to be able to oh. make that choice and do what you want with it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, really, I'm excited about it. That's what I did last time. I, I just recorded the EP and... The label thing worked itself out afterwards, so like I'm just going in. I'm worried right now just to make it a, the best album I can make. So, yeah. and then we'll work on work out all those details later. Yeah. yeah. So. And what can fans kind of expect for you? Uh, are you planning? I know it's still kind of early, and you're talking about the record. Are you planning any shows right now too, or are you just kind of gonna focus on the record for now? Or? Um. So I have like a small Midwest run in the middle of April with a band called Postmodern and then I'm working on some a lot of stuff for the summertime and uh, that should hopefully be when like the record comes out um, but yeah so the first two weeks of April I'll be recording that second weekend I'll do a little weekend a little weekend run and then uh, then I'm gonna hit the summer really hard so nothing nothing like to announce quite yet yeah. but um, soon enough definitely keep on the lookout yeah <laughs> for sure what's the best way for fans to get in contact with you I'm all over the internet, as is everybody. Got the uh, whole shebang of social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have a website. It's willdealy.com, and that'll link you to everything else that I have, Twitter, Facebook, whatever, at Will Dealy. So, yeah. yeah. And I post on there, like, every day, stupid stuff, whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, is there anything else you'd like to say to your fans out there? Um, thank you. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs>